They had me smoking weed like I'm a Rasta A lion falling to his death like Mufasa But then I got up, my spirit got roused up And now I use these scriptures like a hundred round chopper Now I use these scripts and I ain't talking about no pharmacy Addicted to the law, ate the whole roll, not talking sushi Yeah, I spit it raw, exposing flaws and ideologies Christians want no smoke, I cut them up with no apologies Fuck a Mac 11, this 1611 will give you a hundred rounds Everybody gather round As I put your favorite pastor six feet underground This a funeral I'm the undertaker in the mortician Rehearse them righteous acts Pray I make it past them auditions Used to be up in them churches catching hella Z's Now I'm on them corners pushing P I'm talking pop all right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all glory, and all honor unto the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's your brother Ariel Sakari here, Sakari Philly, and uh, about to bring on um, Jason back to the platform. All right, Jason and I had a dialogue about about two weeks ago. Um, about various topics, it really turned to be like a dialogue slash debate about free will. Um, but getting ready to bring Jason on, uh, one thing that Jason said during our dialogue was that he believes that the Jews, um, were white, whiter than him. Um, so we're gonna have a dialogue uh, about that topic. All right, what's going on, Jason? Hey, how's it going? Good man, how's everything? Good. How's hey, how's the lighting? It looks like this. I just I have like this silhouette, like this really. Yes, yeah, it's, it's fine. You're, you're fine. Give me one second. I got a thousand tabs open. Sheesh. All right, let's get uh. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. That's fine, right? I look like Two Face, though. No, you good. Okay. You good, man. But uh, so yeah, um, yeah. That's last time we we had <laughs> our dialogue. Uh, you you said that you believe that the Jews were white, um, whiter than you. Am I am I correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, what makes you? Believe <laughs> yeah, I'm actually not. Like, my dad was uh, half Spanish. Uh, from the south of Spain, and he was not actually white. He was like a, a Spanish Moor, or like part Spanish Moor. So if you if you looked at him, actually, his skin would be just a little lighter than yours, but not much lighter. Okay. But somehow, that's, that's... Oh, because he, but his dad was white. His dad was uh, an eat like a just a you know American white guy. Mm -hmm. And so I got that Y chromosome that made me. A little more wider, but you can tell with the my monobrow. That's like a Moorish kind of monobrow. Okay. So, anyway. but regardless of that, what what makes you think <laughs> that the Jews of antiquity were so called Caucasian? Like, do you believe that they were always white? Well, first, well, first, let me let me. Um, I want to start with a, a point that I think we agree on, which is that this matters. The cut, like the appearance of Jesus, does matter, right? I agree. Yes, because there's people. I when I when I argue this and debate this kind of thing with people, a lot of people they just you know they fling themselves on the floor and they go, "What does it matter? What does it matter?" Well, it does matter, and we will we can agree with that, right? Yeah, I because agree. the color right, of who the world when, will matter. Yeah, there's a whole swath of people, like for example. KKK Christians that if mm -hmm. they're expecting a white Jesus and if he comes back and he's some other color, they're not going to worship him, right? Mm -hmm. Therefore, they're going to think he's a false Christ, right? Mm -hmm. And vice versa, if he's if he's really white and he comes back, there's going to be like the Hebrew Israelites. They're not, you know, most they're not going to go. Whoops, my mistake. They're not going to do that. They're going to like if, like well, if you saw if you. Saw, if you saw Jesus coming and he was white, mm -hmm. you'd probably wage war against him, right? You go, that's a false Christ, or at least I wouldn't. Would I wouldn't. I would not wage war against anyone. So, no, I uh -huh. I would not wage war against anyone. Um, 
War, as mm-hmm. we know, with this current uh, with this current um, military exercise in Ukraine, um, the West has mm-hmm. called it an illegal war. So wars are illegal. I I don't deal in illegality. So no, I would not wage war with this uh, this individual that you're hypothesizing about. So, but no. but what I want to let's get down to the brass the brass tax, Jason. What makes yeah. you believe? that the Jews were white. Okay. So, well, the, my main, my main point is there are scriptures in the Bible that say this. What scripture okay, in the Bible so says that the Jews were white? Here, hold on. Let me, let me find it. Let me, I can pull it out. Okay. Now there's, there's three kind of categories of, of these things. One is, uh, there are one, there are ones that that yeah there are scriptures that that basically lead that that uh, imply that they're white or that directly say that they're white, and then there's scriptures that like for example some of the things Jesus said I don't think a black person would say or I don't think a Hebrew Israelite would say because because remember the doctrine is like maybe a maybe a black person would say it like a black Christian but not a Hebrew Israelite because a Hebrew Israelite is very specific religion where the uh, black Hebrew man is, is not a, a, a white man is Eastern, right? Hold on, hold on. For the record, for the record, Jason, a Hebrew Israelite is not a religion. A Hebrew Israelite is a race. Right? Well, but, I mean, he, it is he, both, he, right? No, 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 no. So Hebrew is a language, right? Yeah. Israelite, the suffix it means descendant of, Right. The Israelites are a race of people that descend from the man named Israel, right? So a Hebrew yes. Israelite is a race. That's that's what we yes. are. That's if you ask me what was your race, I would say that I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Of course, mm-hmm. according to the Bible, right? What we can read, the Israelites broke themselves into tribes, so and yeah. families. So I would be of the tribe of Judah. I'm an Israelite of the tribe of Judah. That's my race. That's my nationality. So no, it's not a religion. But but, but there's, see, a, this, there's a God. There is a God you're worshiping, right? Of of course. And guess what? Every nation of people had a God in which they worshiped in antiquity, right? The right. Babylonians worshiped Marduk, right? Uh right. the Canaanites worship El and Astra, right? The Moabites yeah. worship Chemosh. The Philistines worship Dagon, right? Every race of people had a specific god or gods that they worshipped, right? The Egyptians had Set and, 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 and Gab and so forth and so forth, yeah, right? right? But that's a race of people. We're not, we're, not, we're not considering Egyptians not a race because they have re- what you would consider so-called religious or uh, the- theology, right? Being an Israelite yeah, is a re- race. Yeah, but religion is defined as the worship of a god, though. That's the definition of religion. Listen, so if, if, if that's worshiping what you, god, that's religion. If that's what you believe, that's that's fine and dandy, right? I don't look at that as a religion, right? I just look at okay, I'm an Israelite, right? That's my race, right? And guess what? My race, we have a god, right? His name is Yahweh, right? I got his name on my on my on my chest right now because this is my god. Right. Not not this actual item, but, you know, this is the name of my God. My God's name is Yahweh. Right. The God that you read about in the Bible. He's the God of the Israelites. And, the, and, you, but you, and you also believe in Yahweh Shai, the Messiah of that God. Right. Yeah. He's the anointed king. Right. That died for the yeah. nation of Israel. Of course. But that's, that's not religion. Anyway, I, I would love for you to show me in the Bible where you see the Jews being white. OK, sure. Let's see. Um <clears throat> okay. There's, well, there's many. Let's see. Well, the, mo- the most um, most convincing are, for example, in S- Song of Solomon, which is written by Solomon, but it's like a dialogue. So sometimes he's he's speaking as his wife, and sometimes he's speaking as him, right? And when he's speaking as his wife, he says, "This is Song of Solomon seven four. It says, "Thy neck is as a tower of ivory. Ivory's white. There you go. His neck is white." Oh, huh. So Song of Solomon, what? Song of seven Solomon and... seven and four. Seven and four. Okay. All right, let me pull up the screen. Uh 
Okay. Okay, so let's start from the top. How beautiful are the feet, uh, are thy uh, feet with shoes, O prince's daughter? The joints of thy thighs are like jewels. The work of thy hands of a cunning workman. Thy navel is like a round goblet, which wanteth not liquor. Thy belly is like a heap of wheat set about with lilies. Thy two breasts are like two young rows that are twins. Thy neck is a tower of ivory. So this is not about Solomon. This is about the woman, right? Thine eyes like the fish pools of in Heshbon by the gates of Bath Rabin. Thy nose is as the tower of Lebanon, which looketh uh, toward Damascus. So you're saying because it says... Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, yes, yeah, so oh, it's the woman. So it says thy neck is, is as a tower of ivory. So that, that means that in color... She is white. That's what you believe. Oh yeah, she, oh she's white. Sorry, I thought I always thought that was the man. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. Well, here, here, here's the issue with that, right? So let's 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 so let's go let's go to Song of Solomon one, right? We can come back yeah. to Song of Solomon seven and four. But, right? but, but in order, in order for if if Jesus and the Jews were white, then they would both be white, right? I mean, if one, if one of them was black, then there would be. So, so, so his, 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 would be black, right? Where, 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 what, what nation is this woman from? Um, it's unclear what nation this woman's from. This, this woman is, they, they, they think, they theorize that this is the first wife of Solomon, which would be, uh, the, the like, who would be an actual like uh, Israelite, but it's not clear. Okay, so so let's go to Songs of Solomon, chapter six and thirteen. Right? Can you see the screen? Yeah. All right. It says, "Return, return, O Shulamite! Return, return, that uh, we may look upon thee. What will ye see in the Shulamite, as it were, the company of two armies?" Right. So this individual is a Shulamite. Yeah. Right. So right. What what is Shulamite? Let's take a look at it. And it's in the feminine, right? It says Hashala. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shula, yeah, she's a Shulamite, right? But nobody really knows where Shulamite is okay. in modern day, right? Okay, so so Shulamite, right? Uh, so it says an epithet for uh, Solomon's wife, right? Shulam is a derivation of Shunam, right? Shunam, right? And Shunam is mm -hmm. uh, one of the cities of the Issacharites. So this woman is a Israelite from the tribe of Issachar, right? This is the same woman that was brought in to keep King David warm, right? As he was dying, mm -hmm. King David never touched her. Mm -hmm. This is the woman that became Solomon's wife, right? The Shulamite. She is of the tribe of Issachar, right? That's what she is. So mm -hmm. she's an Israelite. So now, with that established, let's go to Song of Solomon chapter 1, right? And let's see how she's describing herself. Because you believe that in Songs of Solomon chapter 7 and verse 4, that this woman uh, is white because Solomon is describing her neck as a tower of ivory, right? So, mm -hmm. Song of Solomon 1, the song, the song of Songs, which is Solomon's, let him kiss me, so clearly a woman speaking, let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for thy love is better than wine, because of the mm -hmm. savor of thy good ointment, thy name is an ointment poured forth, therefore do the virgins love thee, draw me uh, will you run after thee? The king hath brought me into his chambers. We will be glad and rejoice in thee. We will remember thy love more than wine. The upright love thee, right? I am mm -hmm. black and comely. Mm -hmm. O ye daughters mm -hmm. of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kadar, as the curtains of Solomon. So here's this woman saying that she's black. Right. This woman's an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. So here we have King Solomon's wife calling herself black. But you said that the, the Jews, which would also include okay. the Israelites as well, I'm assuming, the Israelites, the 12 tribes, you were considered to be white. Here's one of them saying that she's black. But this, now, but this, yes, and I have a response for this. Um, now, the, but the woman said that she, uh, this is the same woman that said her neck is as a tower of ivory, right? Okay, so 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 again, someone's so how can she be right. black and white at the same time? Good question. Here's here's what it says. Uh, because in the next, you go back to the next same same page. 
The next verse. Do you want Song of Solomon one or seven? No, the one the one you quoted from. So uh, okay. seven, I think. Okay. Or, so or was that one? That's chapter one. The one with the black, black one. Okay. It says, I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kadar, yeah, as the right. curtains of Solomon. Look not Wait, upon check out the me. next verse. Okay. Yeah. Song of Solomon 1 6, where it says, Look not upon me because I am black, because the sun hath looked upon me. Because the sun hath looked upon me. She is black because the sun hath looked upon her. Black people are not black because the sun hath looked upon them. They're black because they were born black, right? Sir. Therefore, she's tan. This is a tan. Tan woman. Okay, so 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 Jason, I you're not this stupid. I, I don't believe that you're this <laughs> stupid. So 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 this is a white woman Thank who's you. now black. Talking. Oh, hold on. What what name me one white person, right? So called white person who is black okay. when they get into the you sun. Can call, you can call us white people if you want. I mean I said no, I'm not no so called. I say so called because you're not white. Your skin is not white, sir. Okay, flat or your, what do you call your, what do you call them? Tan people? No, no, your your skin is leprous. Leprous people? Okay. Your your skin is leprous, right? Your skin is not white. Well, it's no. translucent and it shows <laughs> your various shades of pink and red. That's what you are. You're not white. Yeah, it's it's ruddy. It's ruddy. It no, 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 not not ruddy. You're you're not ruddy. You're you're well, depending depending on the context. Actually, right? I'm not ruddy. I'm not white enough to be ruddy because I don't. You're not the, I don't blush. You're not, you're not the ruddy that King David was described as, right? But you, you you're red. You're the you're the ruddy that Esau was described as, right? But you're not white, well, right? So so again, my question is: Show me, give me an example of a white person being in the sun and them turning black or dark because of the well, sun. The well, if you if you uh, well, you got to go to the Hebrew word there. The Hebrew word there, Shakawara. black and dark, Shakawara. the same word. Shakawara. It, it means dusky, jetty, black. That's what it means from the Hebrew okay, word well, "shakar," which means to be black. Other translations where it says "swarthy," look not upon me because I'm swarthy. Well, swarthy oh. just means tan, which means dark. Swarthy so don't mean like swarthy black, does not kind mean. Of dark. Hold on, sir. Swarthy does not mean Caucasian with a tan. It does not mean snooky from the Jersey Shore. That's not what swarthy means. You do realize sure. that, right? Here we are looking at the Hebrew it's, word, right? It no, 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 it, it does can. not. Okay, so let's look. Let's go to etymology. All right, let's look at the word swarthy. Dark colored. White people are not dark colored, sir. That's what swarthy means. Tan, tan white, tan white people can be dark, dark colored, sir. No, no one on the planet believes that white people are dark. No one, other than you. Um. Okay. That's well, what swarthy means. So yeah, but are you are you? Are black people black because the sun has looked upon them? Sir, 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 sir. Show me one black person. Show, show me a person that's the color of my t-shirt. Show me one. Okay, well, you're the, see these these uh, these these Hebrew words are not. Uh, they don't have very specific color words. You know, for uh, dark that, and black are the same. That's, not, that's and, not true, yeah. Jason. Jason, what you're not going to do is deflect, right? I need you to show me one person on the planet that is that is the color of my T-shirt, the color of my microphone. I need you to show me one. Okay, sure. Can I show pictures here? There's black people that are really black. Let's see. Black. Let's see. Very black man. Pretty, pretty close to black. Let's see. I can't see your screen. Well, you can, I mean, you can find, if you just Google very black man, there's black people that are, their skin is very black. See, here's this the is, issue, Jason. Issue. See, and this is, this is, this is why I say that you're a white supremacist, right? Because white, you, you believe that people who have darker hue, right, are black because you say so, right? Because, because to you, you're white, right? White means pure and good and holy, right? 
in English, right? Etymologically. Well, and black well, there's and black a... and black means evil and malicious and devoid of light. Right. So you guys well, went around a, and no, no, Jason, Jason. So the last time we had a conversation, right? You did a lot of interrupting me, right? And I was I was very, very patient with you, right? Today, not so much, right? So let, let's keep that to a minimum, okay? You guys went around and called the 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 sons of Cush, right? When the Egyptians went over to to not the Egyptians, the the Greeks, the so called Greeks went over to Ethiopia. Well, Cush, the land of Cush, they called those people Ethiopian, which means burnt face. Because you guys are racist, right? You guys think that you're that you're you're, you're better than everyone else, and this is why the Greeks went around conquering and trying to force their ideologies on people. Right. We see the Hellenization of Egypt, the Hellenization of parts of Kush. We see the Hellenization of the Jews. We see the Hellenization of people in the Hindus River Valley. Right. We see all of this spreading of of Greek culture. Right. Of so-called Greek culture. And then the Romans come and pick up and, they, and they're treating people of color, so-called color, the same. Right. So now in English. Right. You guys have labeled you, you guys have created this ideology of race, which is a social construct. Right, which is rooted in uh, the thoughts of German so-called scientists, right, who believe that you can categorize people groups in three to five races, and you get Mongoloid, Caucasoid, Negro, so forth and so forth, right. So, so no one on the planet is Negro, right, which means black in Spanish, and no one on the planet is black. The English word black, as my T-shirt is, on the planet, right? There are people who have very dark skin that some are very close to black, but no one's skin is black, sir, right? But you guys have just labeled people. Like, am I black, Jason? Well, what word would you like to would you like me to call the color of your skin, if not black? No, no, no. Just look at me. You ha you have two eyes, right? You have a brain yeah. in between your ears, uh -huh. right? What color is my skin? Dark brown. Okay. You consider dark brown. Okay. My skin is what brown. What color is my skin? Your skin, your skin is, is translucent. I see hues of pink and red. Translucent? You can yes. see through my skin? Really? So, 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 so mm -hmm. your skin is devoid of you melanin, right? Which it does not give you pigment. That's why I said that you were a leper. Right, okay. Uh -huh. You you would be you you are a leper, right? You're a clean leper according to the law of God, right? You're not an unclean leper, right? You ever, if you ever saw a black person who has skin that's part bl so called black and part like wh pale white like yours, that that's a le that's an unclean leper, right? That's a that's a disease, right? You're a, you were you are considered a clean leper, right? According to the law of God. However, right, my skin is brown, mm -hmm. right? Now, this word shock of war, right? It means to be dark. Right? My skin is dark. She said, I am dark and beautiful. Like the daughters of Jerusalem. The daughters of Jerusalem were dark and beautiful. Who are the daughters of Jerusalem? The children of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Those are who the daughters of Jerusalem are. And she's saying, I'm 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 dark. I'm shock of war, just like y'all. And I'm beautiful. Don't and don't look upon me because I'm 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 Chakawara, right? Which means dark, right? Because the sun have looked upon me. So again, can you show me a so-called Caucasian, so-called white person who can go out into the sun and get dark? Well, yeah. But hold on, let me let me uh am I free to talk now? Okay. I'm I'm I, I, so, I ask you a question. Can you show me can so 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 when I ask you a question, I expect an answer, not you to go somewhere else. Can you show me? No, no. But you said you said you 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 uh, you gave me several accusations, and I can't respond to them. I have to I have to then answer your third question and not reply to your. No, other no, thing. that was no, 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 Jason. That was my original question, right? And you have yet oh, you to just answer. Called me my... white supremacy. I want to discuss white supremacy. Can I talk about that? No, because the the dialogue is not oh. about white supremacy, right? The dialogue is about whether the Jews in Christ were white or were they people of color? That's the, the co topic of the conversation. So you said, I asked you, can you show me a place in the Bible where you can see that the Jews were white? 
you go to Songs of Solomon 7 where the where Solomon is describing the woman's neck as a tower of ivory. You said ivory is white, right? So they're white. Yeah. Well, the woman literally describes herself as the opposite of that, right? Shakawara, which means dark in chapter one. So I need you now to show me a so-called white person who will go out into the sun and get dark. Ready, set, go. I can find I can just Google it. You can find lots of you can find lots of uh, white people getting turned dark. I don't, anybody can find that. You go out in the sun, you get dark. Sure, that happens. Pre 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 present people get tan. White people go to tanning beds to get dark. White people go to tanning beds. To, they get spray tans. Why would right? why would and, tanning and, beds exist if you can't get tan? Because you guys, because you guys, because you guys understand that God has cursed you without melanin, something that gives everyone else light, right? Life, right? You guys have been giving a curse of not having melanin, right? Which is which is very important for homeostasis of the body, for the record, right? You guys don't have that, right? So this is why uh -huh. you guys want to see see you guys like to project. Right. And yes, I am speaking in generalities. You guys like to project. Right. You guys make us feel bad about the color of our skin. Right. About our broad lips. When did we do that? Huh? When did we do that? What do you mean? When did when did y'all do that? Yeah. When did Were we you, do that? Are, are you not familiar with the, the history of this country? Yes, I am. I was a okay. history teacher. Uh, OK. So in history. Right. You had water fountains for white people and no. for colored people, right? Uh-huh. You had separate but equal, but there was really no equality, correct? Yeah, but that was uh, So what does that, that do in the mind? So what so what does that do in the mind of the people who you are subjecting? Right? It makes them feel like they're inadequate because they don't they they don't, they don't have access to the same basic human rights or facilities that so-called white people have, right? So yes, you guys mm -hmm. have done that, right? You guys have gone around. Well, the South right? did that, okay? I'm not it, a southerner, sir, sir. It was not just the South. The, the the North was very racist too, right? You had race riots in in Chicago, right? In the early mm -hmm. 1900s, you had race riots all in a whole bunch of northern cities, right? It don't matter, right? We were treated like shit by your people, right? Whether it was the mm -hmm. North, the South, the West, Midwest, what have you. So so cut it out, right? Now, again, we're going to get past this point because you clearly cannot show me a so-called white person who go in the sun and get dark. Like, I, well, listen, I don't think, listen, I don't think segregation was done simply for the purpose of making you guys feel bad. I think it was done for other. What I was the was reason why? Because they hate because they hated us. Right. They thought they were better than us. Correct. I think it was because, um, well, I, I'm not sure, but um, I think it was like. Well, it was like we see the, the neighborhoods are, are separated today. You, there's a black neighborhood and there's a white neighborhood, right? And black people don't, or you know, white people don't often go to the black neighborhood. Why? Because it's more dangerous, right? And so, therefore, white people. Jason, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop, stop you. I'm going to stop. I'm, I'm going to stop. Black neighborhood is dangerous. Jason, I'm going to stop you right there, right? Because you sound so ignorant. You are the world's worst history teacher on the planet, right? <laughs> You are the you are the world's worst history teacher. So so I'm going to stop you before you say something that very very racist. You've been saying things that are super racist, right? Super prejudiced, all right, and super just. How would I, what's the word I'm looking for? Just, just in general, bad. Just you 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 said a lot of shit that that a lot of more eloquent people could just dismantle you, right? I don't want my brothers and sisters on Twitter and TikTok. All right, to, to get hold of this footage and to fillet you, right? And I don't want you to lose yeah, your job. Me. Yeah, so why would I why would I why would I want to uh be surrounded by people that would fillet me? It doesn't make sense. So therefore I okay. would uh, all right. Anyway, let's let's move on. Right? Can you show me another can you show me another Bible verse where you where you see that the the actually before no actually screw that. Let me go on offense, right? Let's let's go to the book of Exodus, right? Exodus chapter four. I mean, you just said you just said if I went to the black neighbor, I'd get filleted if they heard me say. No, I didn't say. Jason, so Jason, 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 shut up. Jason, shut up. 
Shut up, Jason. Shut up. Stop talking right now. Right? You always want to move the goalposts. This last last dialogue, you tried to move the goalposts every chance you got. No, we're gonna stick to the Bible, right? So let's go to Exodus chapter four, right? Um okay. Exodus chapter four. And I'll start at verse uh two. It says, And the Lord said unto him, What is that in thy hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground and became a serpent. And Moses fled before it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Hey, listen, if any, if any of you people want to come and kill me, you go right ahead, okay? That upon you Jason, come, I'll write Jason, 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 Jason. Shut the fuck up. Right, you're on mute. You're on mute right now. Because because I'm reading the I'm reading the Bible right now. Look at you. Look, look at you. Look at you acting like a Neanderthal, acting like the Homo erectus that you are, the troglodyte that you are. Get some act right. Fuck is wrong with you, nigga. Okay. Anyway, I'm reading the Bible. See which oven you ended up in the center. Hey, of the earth. hey, 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 Jason, shut up while I'm reading yeah. the Bible. Okay. Anyway, go let's ahead. go back to exit. Let's go back to Exodus chapter 4, right? Verse 4. And the Lord said unto Moses, Put down, uh, uh, put forth thy hand and take it in thy uh, by the tail. And he put it in his hand and it caught it and became a rod in his hand. All right? Jumping down to verse 6. It says, And the Lord said unto uh, furthermore unto him, right? Put now thine hand into thy bosom, right? So he's telling him to put his hand essentially in his, let's say, let's say he has on a jacket, right? He had on uh, more like a garment, a long garment, right? So he's being told to put his hand in his, by his bosom, right? It says, and he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, it was leprous as snow. Yeah. Well, the explanation here is that my, my skin could get whiter, too. Okay? When it becomes leprous, it gets whiter than this. Okay. Let's keep reading. It says, and he said... That doesn't prove it. Put, and he there. said, "Be quiet." And he said, "Put thine hand into thy bosom again." And put, and he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. If his if his flesh mm -hmm. was different than his leprous as snow skin, how the hell is his skin white? White people. White people. Are leprous and they, they their skin turns whiter than it is because you say remember you say so called white man because I'm not really white I'm off white right well their skin becomes whiter that's how leprosy works so you you don't know a damn thing so you tell me this was a white man <laughs> whose hand turned white what you tell me that this is a white man whose whose hand turned white. <clears throat> Um, yeah. Okay. Right. All right. So, so, all right, cool. Let me ask you a question. What, what this color so were the, white what man color? Hand turned even whiter than it was. Hold on, hold on. So what, co what color were the Egyptians? They were, they were, uh, most, a lot of them were white. I don't say all of them were white, but some of them, yeah, a lot of them were white. Okay. Ancient Egypt. <clears throat> and this can be proven we have. There's uh, there are mummies like skulls of uh, pharaohs with blonde hair and red hair, you know. Okay, so so this is what this is this is a picture of uh, a reenactment of, of the Egyptians, right? I don't see them being white. Here is actual picture of Egyptian women, right? That's not white, okay? That's a That's, painting. It's a painting. painting from. It's a hold on. That is a painting from a wall in fucking Egypt, sir. Let's look Paint at this. Paint doesn't last thousands of years. Paint does not last oh. thousands of years. Yo, 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 yo. Shut up, right? Let's let, let's Those look at this. Are these are these people white? That's modern painting of an old thing, yeah. Bro, 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 bro. Shut yo, shut up. Shut up, sir. Right? Let let's let's keep going. Hit, hit, let's let's look, let's look at more Egyptians, right? Mm -hmm. Again, more pictures. Are these white people, sir? You can see you can clearly see the white paint. And you can see their skin. You can see the texture of their hair, right? Are these white people? The, those could be tan, tan white people. All right, sir. Because you, the sun has looked upon them. You, know. you, you have a nice day, right? You're out here, right? 
fucking idiot, man. I knew this dialogue was not going to last long, right? I knew it wasn't going to last long, right? Jason Sturmer Roberts is the dumbest Caucasian on the planet. He's the dumbest, right? And we didn't even get the we didn't even get a chance to go deeper into this, right? And dive into the text, right? And to even look at archaeology, right? I had a whole bunch of stuff that I was going going to bring out, right? But no, he he's he's too stupid, right? He's too stupid to have a actual intelligent dialogue, right? He can't stay on topic. I think the motherfucker has ADHD. Right? I think he has ADHD. I'm diagnosing Jason with ADHD cuz he's he's a fucking moron, right? He can't stay on one topic, right? So before we move any further, right? Let me just go into some uh some archaeology real quick. Right? The Lachis Reliefs, right? Now, before we go into the actual images of the Lachis Reliefs, let's let's see what the Lachis Reliefs are, right? The Lachis Reliefs are a set of Assyrian palace reliefs narrating the story of the Assyrian victory over the kingdom of Judah, that would be the Jews, during the siege of Lachish in 701 BCE. Carved between 700 and 681 BCE as a decoration of the southwest palace of Sennacherib, all right, in Nineveh, in modern Iraq. The relief is today in the British Museum in London. So any of my brothers and sisters who are in, uh, in the UK across the pond, right, you guys can go to the British Museum in London, right? And you can go take a look at these Lachish reliefs, right? Here they are, right? See, what I love about ancient uh, civilizations is that they recorded their their conquests. They recorded uh, a lot of history, right? And we can see how what they recorded and how what has been taught to us, right, by Western European white supremacist so-called Christians, right? We we can combat the nonsense and the lies, right, that they that they have taught, right? The white man wants to be every great society. Here's this this so-called white man. The Egyptians were white. The man said that these are white people that got a tan. What? How the hell are these white people that got a fucking tan? There are white people that live in Africa today, and guess what? N not enough sun can make them look like this. Let's take a look. White South Africans. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, look at this white woman. She's at a soccer field, right? Last time I checked soccer's outdoors, right? So she's been in the sun for a couple of hours, and guess what? The bitch is red, right? Here's another white South African. But, 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 for, but somehow, these are white people that were in the sun and got a tan. Right. So anyway, let's go back to the Lockheed's release. Right. Let's take a look at the Lockheed's release. All right. And let's see if these people are white people or if they are. Black people. So here, here, here's here's one scene from the release. Right. Which shows the Assyrians like killing us, hanging us and stuff. Right. Here's another one. Right. So these are clearly the Assyrian soldiers. And here are the Jews, right? This brother right here, they got him butt naked, right? Let's take a look at this. Let's go. This is a white person? This is a white person with, with nappy, extra curly hair? That's a white person? And this is right from the British Museum. These are the Jews that the Assyrians, right, captured 
right, in the siege of Lachish. And guess what? They're not white. Even so-called white Jews today will tell you that the Jews were not originally white. But that idiot, Jason Roberts, right, is just that. A fucking idiot, right? Let's 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 look at some other pictures of them, right? Right. I be, I believe this is supposed to be of of what's the face? One of the upper echelons, if I'm not mistaken, right? But let's keep looking. Oh, let's look at what's this? What's the boss release? Let's see what the boss release are. I never heard of it. Okay, never mind. That's not that's not like a specific thing, right? Boom, but we can see the Lockheed's release. Here's another one. Here are these brothers on their knees, right? Right? Here are these brothers on their knees. Look at them, look at them, look at them heads. Look at look at their heads. Look at those beards. But somehow these are white people. Somehow, according to Jason, these are white people. And these are white people with tans. Right? Let's go elsewhere in the Bible, right? Let's go to the book of Lamentations, chapter 4. Right? Let's look at the word visage. Visage, a person's face. Right? A person's face. Right? Lamentations 4 and 8. Who is this talking about? It's talking about Jerusalem. This is the prophet Jeremiah, right? Yerum Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew, right? Who's lamenting, right, after the destruction of the temple and the city, right? Now, it says her Nazarites were purer than snow, right? Nazarites supposed to be pure, right? They were whiter than milk, right? Now, again, a silly Christian like that will try to say, you see, they're white, right? But let's just let's let's destroy that, right? So the Hebrew word for white is Laban. Right? This word for whiter it means dazzling, right? Is tazacha, right? Tazachach, right? Tazachwa, right? Right? Let's look at this, right? To be dazzling, be a glow, to glow. So they were gleaming, right? Guess what? I've never seen Caucasians gleaming in the sun. I've never seen that. I've never seen that a day in my life. Actually, let me see. Where's boom? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go back to these white uh, South Africans. This woman is not gleaming. All right, her skin's not dazzling. Right, she's been in the sun at this soccer match. Right, or whatever this outdoor event. It's probably a soccer match. Right, and her skin is red. Right, or very red. Right, she ain't dazzling. She ain't gleaming. Right. right. Look at this sister right here, man. Look at this sister. Gorgeous sister, right? She's gleaming. She's dazzling, right? Her skin is gleaming. Melanin on fleek, as they used to say a couple years ago, right? Melanin popping, right? Let's look at this sister. Boom. Right? Look at all these sisters. Look at these fine sisters, man, right? Pinterest is pissing me off, right? Look at that sister, right? Skin glowing. You know what I mean? Look at these sisters just gleaming, right? Absolutely beautiful, right? The sun is just radiating off of their beautiful melanated skin, right? The woman in Song of Solomon says, look, look at me, right? She said, I am black and comely, right? Not black and but but black and and I'm gonna show you that real quick. Let's go there, right? From the Solomon one and five, right? Right. Uh, the word the Hebrew word for but is a car, right? It says 
Shakawara Anya Wa. Wa. Wa means and. Right? Let's look at that. Conjunction Wa. Right? It means and. Right? Not but. It says Shakawara Anya Wa. Na Wa. Right? And beautiful. Right? She says, I'm black and beautiful. I'm dark and beautiful. Right? These women right here are dark and beautiful. Right? Look at this sister, right? She got the, you know what I mean? She got the little nose ring, lips glowing, you know what I mean? Face beat. You know what I mean? Looking looking beautiful, right? Let's look at these sisters. Look at this sister, right? Look, 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 look at her, look at her skin just glowing. Right? That's what. Lamentations is talking about, right? So let's go back. Lamentations 4. Right? It says, her Nazarites were purer than snow, right? They were whiter than milk, right? Again, let's look at the word for white, right? Is a Hebrew word, tazakach, right? It means to be dazzling, to glow, right? To glare, right? That's what it means. Right. So you can even see again in these like if I was to if I let's say I was an artist and I had to paint, right? And I had to paint this sister, right? I would have to use white paint to to catch that reflection of the light off of her dazzling tazahak skin, right? That's what I would have to do. Right? Let's go back. says they were more ruddy in body than rubies more ruddy in body than rubies their polishing was a sapphire so they're ruddy that word for ruddy if i'm not mistaken is adumi right adamia adamwa right adam right they're ruddy right which means what let's take a look at it ruddy dyed red right this is the same word that's used for Adam. Adam was made of what? Of the dust of the ground, right? The ground has various different colors. You look at clay, right? Let's look at clay, right? Most high God is known as the potter, right? What do potters, what do potters use to make pots? They use clay. That's clay. That's clay, right? That's ruddy, right? It's a reddish brown, right? Let's go back. Boom. Then rubies. Rubies are actually red, right? It goes on to say their visage, their visage, right, is blacker than coal. Let's take a look at what coal looks like. Oh. Coal, it's dark, blacker than coal, right? They are not known in the streets, their skin cleaver to their bones. It is withered, it has become like a stick, right? So, so this is the siege of Jerusalem, right? There was a famine, right? Why right, we, we a lot of us pined away, right? And would starve to death, right? That happened, right? And Jeremiah is lamenting this tragedy that happened to the, the daughter of Jerusalem, right? Is, is it right here? Let's look at verse 1. Verse 1 it says, How is the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out on the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold. How are they esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work of the hands of the potter? Right? He's lamenting, like, like, damn, how did this all happen? Right? He's sad. He's known as the weeping prophet. Right? So, again, let's take a look at Mount nourish Africans.
right? Look at this kid, right? He's not his skin's not dazzling anymore. He 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 look almost looks like what? Like coal, right? He's malnourished. It's a famine, right? This is this is what he's describing, right? Let's look at this. Let's look at this boy, right? Ashy black, right? That's what he looked like. Look at these kids. Dirty. They laid in the sh again. Let's go back to Lamentations, right? The precious sons of Zion are co comparable to fine gold, right? How are they esteemed as earthen pitchers? Where earthen pitchers come from? From the ground, from the earth, the work of the hands of the potter, right? So it says that we're cast out in the streets. So if you're cast out in the streets and you're in the ground, right, you're malnourished because there's a famine, right? This is what you look like, right? These kids' visage, their faces look blacker than coal. Boom. Ashy black. Ashy coal, ashy black, malnourished, right? This is what's going on, right? This is what Jeremiah is describing, right? But according to Jason, the Jews were white. Get the hell out of here, man, right? Let's 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 go somewhere else, right? Let's go to the Book of Revelation, right? And I'm not even going to going to go to Revelation, uh, chapter uh, chapter one, right? To describe Yahweh Shai, right? We know that he had hair like wool, right? You see, you see my hair, you know what I mean? It's woolly, you know what I mean? Curly, you see, right? Caucasians don't got hair like wool, right? Let's go to Revelation 4, right? It says in verse 2, it says, And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. Who sits on the throne? The ancient days. Right, the most high God. Now, let's we'll come back to that, right? Let's go to the book of Colossians, chapter one. Right? So the subject is Christ, right? It says, Who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. So the context is the son, right? And whom we have a uh, redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, Christ, right? Who is the image of the invisible God, right? So Christ is the image of the invisible God, right? Let's look at the word for image, icon, right? Image, figure, likeness, right? It says a likeness, statue, profile, representation, resemblance, image. He is the resemblance, right? What did Christ say? He said, if you've seen the Father, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Right? Why? Because he's the image of God. Right? He's the image of the Most High God. Right? Now, here in Revelation, John the Revelator, it says he was in the spirit, right? And he's seen the throne, right? We can't just look at God, right? In our earthly vessels. He had to be in the spirit to even see this vision, right? Of one sitting on the throne. Let's take a look at what the one, the Most High God, who's sitting on the throne looks like. It says, and he that sat was to look upon like as a jasper stone. Let's read that again slowly. And he that sat. Who's the he? The most high God. Was to look upon. If you look at something, right? If you're seeing something. And now you're describing that something as something else, right? You're making a comparison, right? He that sat was to look upon like like a jasper in a sardine stone right so let's take a look we're done with malnourished African children right see we live in a world where this is a thing because the so called white man is in rulership right see when the Israelites are in power right this won't be happening unless these these other nations right don't come and keep the Feast of Tabernacles, right? This will happen if let's let's say these are Canaanites, right? The, well, the Canaanites, they, they're definitely going. They 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 going to be looking like this, right? Let's say these are Egyptians, right? The Egyptians, they can come and keep the Feast of Tabernacles. They can come to the temple, you know, what I mean, give a sacrifice, right? 
cool. They're gonna get rain in their in their, in their homelands, right? They're gonna have enough food. Their kids aren't gonna look malnourished, right? However, let's get back to the point, right? Let's look up a sardine stone and jasper. This is a jasper stone right here. This is a sardius or sardine stone, right? Boom, right? Jasper sardine stone. So he was to look up. He was to look up, look upon like a jasper in a sardine stone, right? The Most High God, right? In his ontological form, right? He's a he's masculine. His name literally Yahweh means he exists, right? His existence, his ontological self, right, is in color of a jasper or sardine stone. So guess what? He is a man of color. He is not a Caucasian. I've never seen a Caucasian these colors. Never. And guess what? His son, right, who is his image, looks very similar. Why? Because he's the image, right? Let's go back to, all right, let's go to Revelation 1, right? Because I knew that this goofy, right, was going to try to play a game. And, and, and a lot of Christians are going to try to play games with this verse. They'll say, oh, yeah, his feet like unto Brian Bla uh, Brass means that he's gleaming. And that fool said something of the sorts during the last dialogue, right? But here's the issue with that, right? It says, his feet like unto fine brass. Now, before we go there, right, it says... Right here, um, verse 12, it says, And I turned to see the voice that spake to me with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, right? A menorah. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot, right? So he has on a long garment down to his foot, meaning you can see what the top of his feet, right? Because, because, because a, a Christian could play a game, right? Oh, his feet were dirty. No, it's the top of his feet, right? He's standing. So if someone's standing, I can't see the bottom of their feet, right? He has a garment down to down to his foot, right? I can see he can see his foot, right? And gird about the paps with the golden girdle, right? His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, right? So so this guy has woolly hair, right? white in color right his feet which are the same color as the rest of his body right the underside of your feet and the underside of your hands different color i'll give you that but he again he's standing he's standing and john the revelator is looking at him he can see him standing so guess what if i can see if i look at someone standing i can see their feet right i'm a sneakerhead as y'all can see right so guess what i'd be out in the public and i'd be looking at people's feet see what they got on or what you got on foot today? Oh, you got all oh, those drums is fire, right? I can see the person's foot. Well, guess what? Christ wore sandals, right? So you can see his feet. Anyway, right? It says, his feet like unto fine brass as if they burnt in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. So Christians will play games and say, oh, he was he was glowing, right? He was he was he was white, right? And he's in a furnace, so it's it's like a glowing, right? Now, if you burn anything in a furnace, the, the fire itself is not white, right? It's yellow, reddish, orangish, right? But it says his feet like unto fine brass. Let's look at the word for brass, right? All right. I might even want to attempt to say this word in the Greek. Taco Lebanon, right? It says burnished copper. I don't know what I'm gonna take a look at what that an alloy of copper or gold and silver having a brilliant luster, fine brass, right? Let's take a look at burnished brass, burnished copper. Oh, it's this color, very similar to what. This color that's used to describe who? The Most High God, the Father, right? Christ being the Son, right? 
the image of the invisible guy, right? He is burnished copper, right? But guess what? It's even darker, right? It could be even darker. You can make the case even darker, right? Let's go back to uh to the text, right? As if they burned, right? The here's the word for burn, pyro, right? Piro, right, as they would say, right? Let's look at Piro, right? Burn, fiery, right? To be on fire, right? Now, what's interesting, right? Let's look at that word here in the Texas Receptus. Boom, right? This is Piro, right? Strong's G4448. Strong's G4448. So look at the same word. Looking at the transliterated, all right, the inflected of this root, right? Here's the transliteration. Here's the root. Here is the inflected, right? It's inflected because they had this context there, right? And you can see all that context right here in the Greek parsing, right? So you see the inflected, the root, Strong's number, right? This is the English for if they burnt, as if they burnt, right? It's a verb, right? So it's an action, right? And it's in the perfect tense. Let's take a look at what the perfect tense means. Definition of perfect. In Greek correspondence, to the perfect tense in English and describes an action which is viewed as having been completed in the past once and for all, not needing to be repeated. Let's repeat that, right? It says, viewed as having been completed in the past, so it burnt in the past is no longer burning because they'll play that silly game once and for all not needing to be repeated that's what the perfect tense so the greek word pyro right pyro however you want to pronounce it right tomato tomato right is inflected in the perfect tense the perfect tense Meaning it's a past tense thing that's been completed, doesn't need to be repeated. So his skin, right, his feet, right, his feet has skin on it. They were the color of fine brass, right? We looked at that word. It means burnished copper, right? This is what burnished copper looks like. As if it burnt in a furnace, burnt past tense, right? Now, I've done this before. It's the Shabbat right now, so I'm not going to do it, right, because I can't kindle a fire on the Sabbath, right? But I've taken a penny, which is copper, and I've burnt it, right? As you're burning, you, of course, see the, the shining, gleaming uh, flame on that, on that penny, which is made out of copper, right? And guess what happens when you burn a penny? Don't trust me. Don't believe me, right? If you're watching this, right, and you're skeptical, right, I want you to take a penny, right? Get a torch or, 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 or get some tongs, take a penny, hold it over the fire on your stove, right? And once it's finished burning, I want you to tell me what it looks like. I want you to tell me what it looks like. Guess what? It's black. It's dark. Shock of war, right? That's what it would look like. I've done this experiment myself. Right? Because I know Christians like to play games. Who the world calls Jesus Christ and the Jews were not white. They were not so-called Caucasians. Now, this is just kind of antidotal, right? Another situation, right? We, we, we looked at the situation with uh, with Moses. Right, he's told to put his hand in his bosom, pulls it out. It's leprous as snow. He puts it back and it reverts back to its original color. Can't be white, right? Because I have a thinking brain, I have a brain that works, right? There's no way that a white man puts his hand in his bosom, a so called white man, puts his hand in his, his jacket, right, of his three piece suit, pulls it out, it turns white. And then come back to be white again. They don't make sense. It doesn't begin to make sense. 
right? But it makes sense to an idiot like Jason Roberts. Because Jason Roberts is a white supremacist idiot. Point blank, period, right? But here's the other anecdotal thing, right? We got the Messiah, who the world calls Jesus Christ, right? And at that time, again, you still had, right, in Egypt, right, you still had the the, the actual sons of Mitzrayim, right, living there, right? They're just ruled by, right, the Roman, at that time, would have more than likely been, yeah, it would have been the Romans, right? Because uh, at that point, Cleopatra, who was of the uh, Ptolemaic dynasty, right? The Cleopatra in that Netflix series, it was not a black woman, right? She was a white woman, right? She was a Caucasian woman. She was an Edomite, right? She was of the Ptolemaic dynasty, right? So that Netflix series was historically inaccurate, right? She And no, she didn't look like the people who live in Egypt today, Arabs. No, she did not look like no, she was a Caucasian woman, right? She was a so-called white woman, right? So you had white people ruling in Egypt, right? But the who were they ruling over? They were ruling over niggas, right? Over black people, so-called black people, right? People that they would consider Egyptos or, or, or Ethiopian, right? Burnt face, right? That's what they were dwelling amongst, right? The ruling over, right? So anyway, right, when Christ is born. What do we see, right? Let's go to the book of Matthew, right? Let's go to the book of Matthew. Is that Matthew 2? Right? So Herod, right, he's trying to, to kill Christ, right? Boom, right? Boom, right? So here we have Matthew uh, 2 and verse 12, right? And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way, right? It says, and when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child, right, and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him, right? Now, Herod, right, is the Edomite, right? This is Herod the Great, right? Let's see if I can find a picture of. Here's Herod the Great, right? Let's look at his nose structure, right? Look at his nose structure. All right, it's a little broad, right? It's it's a little broad. Right, here's another one, right? Here's here's curlier like he almost looks like uh Corey from uh from Boy Meets World boom look at Corey Matthews look at his hair right look at his nose look at his hair look at Herod that's the same goddamn person right let's look at Herod's father. Boom. This is Herod's father. Antipater, the Edomite. Who does this guy look like? He looks just like this devil. Let's look at George Bush. And let's look at Antipater the Edomite. That's who he looks like, right? So we had white people ruling over black people in Jerusalem, in the land of Israel, right? God tells Joseph, the father of Jesus, Yahweh Shai, right? His physical earthly father right to take his son who is the image of the most high god who looks like a sardine and a jasper stone to go and flee into egypt to do what to hide from herod now how the hell is a white baby hiding in egypt amongst all these black people 
So Herod's white, the Jews are white, according to this guy. Herod's white, the Jews are white, right? But they go and hide in Egypt, right? Which are black people. No, oh, but I forgot. According to this idiot, right? Where where are we at? Uh, according to this idiot, right? These are white people with tans. They were hiding amongst people like this, right? But they were white. Jesus was white, according to this guy. Hiding amongst these white people. These these white people right here, guys. Who have di who does a little tan? Let's take a look at a white person with a tan. That's clearly Photoshop. That's a white person with a tan. That and that, not the same thing, right? Anyway, look at this orange devil, right? This guy has skin cancer, right? Look, look, look at Anne Hathaway. She's orange. Bad spray tan, baby girl. Look at this orange devil. Look at this peachy nigga, right? That's clearly blackface. That's blackface, right? That's a bad spray tan, right? White people don't look like this in the sun, right? They look like... Where are my white South Africans? White South Africans. They look like this broad in the sun. This is what happens to white people in the sun. Red, Aishawa, Esau, right? Wasted away is he. That's what happens when white people get in the sun. Not this, right? So, so Christ, right, is an infant, probably, probably less than a less than a couple months. Oh, I'm not sure the exact timeline, right? And guess what? His daddy, right, takes him and his mama. They flee into Egypt to hide from King Herod. It said when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. And uh and so like it, and was there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son, right? So Christ came out of Egypt. He hid in Egypt. How the hell could Christ hide in Egypt as a white man amongst black people? Does not begin to make sense, right? Does not begin to make sense, right? But again, with that, I'm going to give all praise, all glory, all honor unto the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh. I do so in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, all right? Please like, share, and subscribe, right? Super chat or super thanks if it's on your heart, right? If you don't want to give, if it is, is on your heart to give and you don't want to give Google, right, 30%, right? You can hit your boy on the Cash App, right? Cash App, dollar sign, line of Yahweh, right? If you would like to be on the channel, right, we'd like to have a dialogue, right? And the thing, here's, here's the thing, right? I would prefer to have intelligent dialogues, right, that are peaceful. And there's several on this channel, right? But some people, they they, they love to, to harp on the negative, right? When I have dialogues with idiots like this and I got to I gotta turn up on, on, on a nigga, right? They, they go crazy, right? This plethora of dialogues that I have on this on this channel um that are just really good dialogues whether we agree or disagree right a prime example would be um let me go to my channel boom let's go back boom let's go to my channel right 
Let's see. This brother right here, Minister Troy, right? Me and him had a, a beautiful, peaceful dialogue, right? No yelling, no none of that, right? Very good dialogue, right? Uh, good. Boom, here's this brother. Great, very good dialogue, right? Let's see. Even my dialogue with uh with ha my dialogue with Harry, right? And for the record, Harry Rosenberg has been ducking smoke. All right, he has been ducking all the smoke. He does not want to have another dialogue with me, right? I had a bu a bunch of questions actually, and I'm gonna clip this, and this is gonna go as a separate video, right? Let me find this. Let's look at Harry. Boom, right? So I'm gonna read the I'm gonna read I'm gonna read the, the message that we had. So this was back in this was seven months ago. Let's see when this was uh this was seven months ago on November 24th, right? So boom, November 29th, right? I said, Hey Harry, do you have the answers to those questions I asked you the other day on Clubhouse? He says, I do for the most, uh, most of them did, did some homework. I said, when can we have another time to discuss? I know it may be difficult uh, with the time difference because at the time he was in, he was in Israel, right? It says, can you make uh, bullet points of the main questions so I can orderly address them? I said, yes, I'll put uh, that together and send it to you later, right? So I sent it to him. I said, here's a list of the questions, right? If Torah and Tanakh say that the Israelites will forget themselves and discontinue from their heritage, how are Ashkenazi sages at actual descendants of abraham isaac and jacob right how are the mainstream jews not experiencing the curses of deuteronomy 28 and leviticus 26 whilst not all collectively observing torah great question million dollar question for for the uh for for my jewish brothers and sisters all right uh next question is what is your exegesis of ezekiel 36 which states that the edomites would be inhabiting the land of israel prior to the coming of the messiah I would love to set up a time for us to discuss uh, for educational purposes. He says, okay, I'll, pre I'll be prepared. Thanks. I said, awesome. Let me know when you're available to set up this discussion, right? That's on December 10th, right? So the initial conversation was November 29th, between November 29th and the 30th, right? I got back to him. I finally put together the, the bullet point of, of questions for him, right? On December 9th, all right? He responded on the 10th. Right, I hit him back up on on the twenty second. Shalom, Harry. What's the word, man? He responds, Shalom, Shalom. I'm in travels for one more week. I need another week or so. This is December twenty third, right? And I have tried to hit him up several times. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. Several times, right? Since then, Harry's been ducking smoke, right? So Harry, so called Rabbi Harry Rosenberg, does not want smoke with little old Ariel Sakari. All right. He does not want smoke. Right. I'm nobody. Right. I'm a nobody. Right. He's a rabbi. He's a rabbi. Rabbi means master. He's supposed to be a master of these things. So he's supposed to have an answer. Right. But yet he doesn't have an answer. Right. Anyway, let's get. Uh, but yeah. So back to it. Um, yeah. Good dialogue with with. Uh, Yosef, you know, what I mean, right. Good dialogue with Lo Shim, you see, right? So there's a plethora. I actually got another uh, video. This brother right here, brother uh, Tyron, right? Tyron was, you know, I mean, we didn't agree on things, right? And guess what? Me and Tyron had a very peaceful dialogue, right? Very peaceful dialogue, right? So if you want to be on the channel, right, and have a dialogue, have a, a debate slash discussion, hit the email, okay? Right, hit the email. Okay, now uh, another thing that I want to um, plug real quick. All right, so, so from all my real supporters, right, brothers and sisters who are rocking with me here on the channel, right, I uh, through the spirit and the power of you, how about Shimmy on Shy for the past, I would say about anywhere between two and a half, probably like three years, right. I, 
I'll, I've been in the truth since fall of 2018, right? It'll be five years for me come uh, September. Yeah, I think September, October, early October of um, of this year. It'll be five years for me in the truth, right? Like actually in the camp doing the work of the Lord, right? Five years. And uh, I have been painstakingly my, over the course of the course of these three years, um, been working on a Bible translation, right? So let me go ahead and let's see. Right. Give me one second. All right, let me go ahead and present. Share screen. Boom. Right? Been working on this Bible translation right here. Okay. And uh, it's a Hebrew is like Bible, a revised King James Version. Right? So in it, all right? Right? Dedicating it to the uh, to the late Elder Kahan, Elder Priest Karatza Alaban, lawyer of the HODC, who uh, I learned everything I know about Hebrew, right? The the foundations of everything that I know about the Hebrew language, all praise to the Most High. This brother was the vessel that I learned from, right? So uh, in this. And this uh, this Bible translation, right? What you'll see, let's go to the book of Exodus, for example, right? So here's Exodus, right? We got Shamwath in the Hebrew, right? The second book of Moses. You have, we got Masha right here, Moses' name, right? So here's chapter one of Exodus, right? Now these are the names of the children of Yasha Allah, which came into Matazarium, every man in his household. Uh, came with Yaquab, Ra'awaban, Shemaiwan, Loya, Yahawada, Yashashakar, Zabalawan, Banyamian, Dan, Napathalia, God, and Ashar. Right? So, what I've done is I've had to go throughout the Bible, right? The, all 80 books, right? All 80 books, okay? And transliterate all these names, right? And what we would consider Allah Shawan Kodash or the ancient. Uh, vocalization, right? So when you hear brother say Kwam Yasha Allah, uh, Shalom, all, all of that is what you would consider Lashwan Kodash, right? Holy tongue, right? Um, and these are I, I've gone here and I've transliterated all names and places, right? Right, Matazarium, right? Let's go, let's take a look. Even here, uh, the Book of Wisdom, uh, prologue to Syrac, right? Boom. This, Yahawashai, son of uh, Sayara'a, the grandchild of Yahawashai, right? And then what we have is God's name in the paleo font, right? In the paleo font all throughout the text, right? All throughout the text. Here we got the Book of Danya Allah or the Book of Daniel, right? The third year of the reign of Yahawah. Yahweh Yaquayam, king of Yahawada, came Nabokadanatazar, king of Abal, unto Yerushalayim and besieged it. And Yahweh gave Yahweh Yaquayam, king of Yahawada, into his hand with part of the vessels of the house of God, which he carried away into the land of Shana'ira, right, Shinar, to the house of his God. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God, right? And the king spake unto uh, Ashapanaz. Right, the master of his eunuchs, right? And he should bring certain of the children of Yasha Allah, of the king's seed and the princes, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding of science. All right, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, in whom they might teach the learning of the tongue of 
the Kashadium, the Chaldeans, right? Kashadium, right? So it says, and the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine, which he drank. So nourishing them three years that at the end thereof, they might stand before the king. Now among these were the children of Yahweh, Danya Allah, uh, Hananiah, right? Mayasha Allah and Isariah, right? So this is Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, right? So I've gone through a lot to transliterate these, these, uh, these names and places, right? So this is coming very soon. Um, I am putting on the finishing touches, right? Just really just a bunch of, you know, just making sure everything, you know, spaced properly. So that, that's been a lot of work. So I, I'm pretty much done, right? Lord willing, within the next couple of weeks, this will be out, all right? I'm going to have a website. Brothers, can go, brothers and sisters can go in there to, uh, for purchase. Right, this has been painstaking, a long, long process. Again, I want to give all praise, glory, honor to the Most High God Yahweh for for giving me the spirit to even do this. Right, I want to thank him for the life of the late great, right, Zakwan Kahan Karataza Alaban, lawyer of the HODC, right, House of David, right, for being the vessel that the Most High God used to inspire me, right, inspire me to learn the Hebrew language. This brother has several. Uh, actually, that, I think that I have his uh, his New Testament. So that brother, man, he got the whole Bible. I think except for the Apocrypha um, in the ancient in the ancient Hebrew, right? I have his New Testament, right, that he tr reverse translated into Hebrew. Amazing, right? So. All praise to the Most High, uh, Yahweh, right? Bashem Yahweh Shai, and the water, all right, to the elder for, for being used as a vessel to inspire me to do something of the sorts, right? So, again, that's coming out soon. So, make sure y'all tap in, right? Make sure you follow me on all social platforms, all right? Line of Yahweh on all platforms, right? Follow me on Instagram, follow me on uh, threads, right? I don't really be on it like that. Follow me on, on Clubhouse. I may, I may be making some appearances on Clubhouse very soon, right? Trying to line up a debate uh, very quickly, all right? Follow me on uh, on Twitter, right? I'll be honest, don't don't add me on Facebook. I'm not going to add people on Facebook. I have like a thousand firm requests on Facebook, right? And Facebook is just like a cesspool of bug outery, so I got to guard my my peace. So just don't follow me on on Facebook, right? I'm not going to add you, all right? But but all those other platforms follow me, right? Um, to to get tapped in, I, I will be uh making announcements about this uh Hebrew Israelite uh King James translation, right? All praise to the Most High. So again, uh, tap in, right? Be on the lookout for that. Again, I want to give all praise, all glory, all honor to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh. Right, I do so in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Again, it's your brother, Ariel Sakari, signing out. Hope brothers and sisters were edified. Shalom. Sakari, the set moving militant. Foot on the gas, doing the dash. Ain't letting them, not a little bit. Running this race, we gon' finish it. Rule drip, yeah, you see the fit. On the grind, too legit to quit. Yahweh power, bring a recompense. To the whore for his wickedness We scream his death pawn Esau White man, yeah we hate y'all When Yahweh Shah come and crack the skies They gon' be crying they face off Round him up, bring him to the wine press He gon' be stomping they face off Then hit a lick like Madoff Burn him up like Napalm Y'all better repent for it's too late The kingdom is coming, don't miss a date Or be left to a gruesome fate Yahweh power finna make it quick Salvation, yeah we need that Wicked past, can't repeat that Return to the law quick, fast In a hurry, Jimmy Neutron got a blast It's in the back, uh I'm chasing the king, the crown. When the sun come around, yeah, everybody bowing down, Every yeah. Day. All they rap about is glah, glah, boom. Why we pray that the king comes soon? The woman cold with the sun and the moon. Horizons of the heathens doom. Hey, 